I'm Julie Albers, and I'm excited to be coming to perform Elgar's Cello Concerto with the Arkansas Symphony later this month. I just wanted to say a few words about the Elgar, because uh, this is a piece I'm very excited to perform. I think that it's one that really showcases the cello in one of the most beautiful ways um, we have in the entire concerto repertoire, uh, because it really keys into kind of the melancholy quality that the cello possesses. And I think just the way that Elgar orchestrates the piece, uses the cello solo uh, interwoven with the orchestra, it's a very, uh, very beautiful effect. Um, this piece was actually written right at the end of the Great War, um, and so that could be why it's a bit darker. Elgar was uh, deeply changed from the events of the war, as probably everybody living at that time was, um, and he didn't really know where where he stood in the world, where he stood in his composition. And this actually ended up being one of the last major works that he composed. Um, and it's slightly different from other concertos um, in a few different ways. One is that it's four movements. Usually a concerto is only three. Um, it's also connected. He connects the first to the second movement without pause, uh, which is also a bit rare um, in a concerto. And the way that he starts the concerto is also quite unique, because he starts with basically cello solo, with an orchestral chord as the accompaniment. And usually a concerto will start with a big orchestral tutti introducing the solo, but this kind of sets the tone for what this piece is going to be. It's very much a monologue um, between the cello and the orchestra, and I, I really hope that you enjoy it, as I know that I will have a wonderful time sharing it with you. Thank you so much.